I want to welcome you to the uh, Dean's List Award Ceremony for the School of Science, Health, and Technology at Medgar Evers College. I am Dr. Terrence Blackman, and I am the Dean of the School of Science, Health, and Technology. Welcome. It's okay, you, you don't have to applaud for that. <laughs> Perhaps what I'll say after I think it's more deserving of applause. Uh, so near, nearly, nearly 50 years ago, uh, this this great institution was founded in order to provide members of this community uh, with an opportunity to experience something even greater than they'd ever imagined: a life enhanced by academic achievement. This evening. We're, we're gathered to lift up and to commend academic excellence in this beloved community. And so, permit me a, a few words about this community. This School of Science, Health, and Technology at Midway Rivers College, we have a philosophy of teaching and learning and knowledge creation that is rooted in our attempt to engage the question how do we as individuals, students, as faculty, staff, more broadly as a school of science, uh, facilitate meaningful participation in science of the highest quality for our students, our faculty, and, and, and all those who come to us seeking to make a way in the 21st century? So we ask, and I think this room is evidence of that, how do we shape this endeavor within the contours of the African American and other underrepresented communities where the need for scientific innovation is most acutely evident? And so our mission, the mission of the Mentor Evers College School of Science, Health, and Technology, the place where you have demonstrated excellence, demonstrated the excellence that we honor today where you have worked with us to advance knowledge in mathematics, nursing, physics, and computer science, and in other areas of scholarship that will best serve our community and our nation, and more broadly our world in this 21st century. This faculty who has certified your excellence is deeply committed to generating, disseminating, preserving knowledge and to working with you to bring this knowledge to bear on the world's great challenges. This School of Science deems you worthy is dedicated to providing you with an education that combines the rigorous academic study that you've experienced and the excitement of discovery with the support and intellectual stimulation of a vibrant community like the one that you're a part of here that only, we believe, Medgar Evers College can offer. This institution, Medgar Evers College, that honors you today, seeks to develop in each of you the ability and the passion to work wisely, creatively, and effectively for the betterment of humankind. I know this seems like a big stretch, but it, but it is really true. And so this evening, we, the faculty, the school, the college, we congratulate each of you and the members of your family who are here to support you today, the folks who you've relied on to be here today. We commend you for your courage, your strength, your fortitude. And in the days ahead, let's, let's endeavor to continue the conversations about what tools we need to be our best possible researchers, teachers, mentors, guides, and students. Tonight, and here you should applaud, we celebrate you Deans was supporting the 2019. Uh, I have the honor tonight of sharing the stage with our senior vice president and provost and our chief academic officer, Dr. Agostino Carecchi, and our president. And so I just wanted to say one word in introducing Dr. Okereke. Uh, you know, leadership matters. You know, everyone, it matters 
who runs the bodega across the street. It matters who runs the elementary school that your child goes to. It matters who runs this college. And so leadership is profoundly important. It's even more important in this 21st century. And we here at Med Rivers have been really fortunate to have a vice president and a chief academic officer who stands above many in the world being proven. And so tonight I want you to welcome my friend and my boss to the stage here. <laughs> cheerful about that. And that's why we are here to celebrate you today, celebrate your academic achievements. So it's truly an honor standing before you today as we recognize your academic achievements in the field of science. Though know, we always hear that science is science. When will that future come? <laughs> so science is and we always say that. So as Dr. Blackman said moments ago, the work of scientists is some of the most important work being done all today. I know you'll be very happy about that as scientists. The work is very, very important. Yours is the work of problem solving, but an ever greater part of that work includes healing. Whether that means the healing of the mind or the body or our planet. So thank you for your dedication to this field. I know that many of you are here today with your family and friends as they share this celebration of excellence. And I just want to say, never take their presence here for granted. So I would like you now acknowledge your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your children. Who are here. I know you have to thank them for holding the fort while you have won that meet at night. The School of Science here at Medievals College is truly a gem. We are able to offer world-class lab equipment, the opportunity to travel to major conferences and meetings across the country, and the opportunity to conduct some great research right here in Central Brooklyn. Our students are really taking advantage of that, as evidenced by the large number of honorees here tonight, and that is very encouraging for the future of this institute. Once again, I greet you, I thank you, and I welcome you for coming here today. So at this point, I will also introduce my boss. <laughs> and they go the word of the day, you know. I'm president of the institution here, of our great institution. He is someone we all know. He is a, a very big, if I may use the term of my people, an Iroko tree, a very big tree. Eight. So he is someone who inspires us all, and I'm sure he's someone who inspires you too, because all of you want to aspire to be college president one day or later. <laughs> so uh, I welcome our president of the New York too. Thank you very much, provost, dean, members of the faculty, students, parents, all the loved ones who are assembled here. Thank you very much for being here. Does our home crowd know that you are here and that you're here to celebrate with us the accomplishments of so many? Um, provost, when you were just talking about I'm a big tree, I don't know if that was code for I need to lose some weight. <laughs> we'll have that conversation in a little bit. But I do want to echo something that both the dean and the provost indicated, which I think is really important for the evening. 
there are times in our lives when we get to come together like this and we look at one another, some of whom we know, some of whom we don't know. We, we are happy to be here because we celebrate the academic success and achievement of the students who have prospered over the course of many years. We're on the eve of graduation, June 5th, Barclays. We're on the year's eve of the celebration of the 50th anniversary of Edgar Rivers College. All of that brings us together, but what we ultimately celebrate is this wonderful understanding of what comes next. So I came here this evening, I won't be able to stay the entire time, but I came this evening because I wanted you to know that in my mind, here's what's next for you. The dean talked about the various opportunities that will exist for the students who will graduate soon and be, if you will, researchers. There'll be doctors, there'll be people who are gonna be in allied health field, there'll be nurses, there'll be people who understand the world of science in ways that will find solutions, problems that we've been talking about in presidential debates and all kinds of other forums over the course of the last five to 10 years. There will be somebody in this audience who will actually discover the cure to something that heretofore we did not think was curable. You'll save a life. You'll build the opportunity for people to feel that the field of science is available to them in ways that they never understood it to be available to them in the past. You, in many cases tonight, for being on the Dean's list, you are braving a whole new pathway into a whole new world. I came here because I wanted to tell you that this is what is your destiny. When you were a freshman, when you were a senior in high school, when you were somewhere back in your academic history, you might not have known that this was on your path. What I would suggest to you is in the same way as you might not have known it then, trust and believe that it's there now and that it will always be there for you because you have mastered it. You have gained the respect of the academic community that taught you, gained the respect of the people around you, no doubt the world will come knock on your door and ask for your intellectual, your social, your heartfelt faith, and your hopeful world of science that you bring to the solutions of tomorrow. Thank you very, very much for the work that you've done. Thank you for attending this evening, and most importantly, thank you for being you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce you to the cheers. And perhaps I, if, I, if I could just, before this introduction, say, I think it's important for us to you know, really reflect on, 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 on the words of Dr. Crew. You know, often we, you know, if we, if we thought about this five years ago, uh, we would never have believed that we would be the people sitting here in the room at this moment. And so there are some things that are down the road for you five years from now that you will not believe is there for you five years from now. And so I want you to take that to heart. And for me, there are some things that were down the road for me that I didn't believe. And so part of, part of that is meeting these wonderful people who I have the pleasure to introduce to you now. I say that because I've worked with them now for three years as their dean, and it's been three of the most rewarding years of my life. Uh, many of these folks have become chairs of the department while I've been the dean, and so I've had the pleasure to see them first as chairs and as regular faculty members and then as chairs. So tonight it is my pleasure to introduce to you first the chair of the biology department, who's not here. She's just a bit under the weather, but in her place, uh, Dr. Kamal, with whom we've had a wonderful bit of work over the last year. So, Dr. Kamal. <laughs> Dr. 
Dr. Reed, who I think everyone in this room knows, she's the person who holds the key to organic chemistry, one, two, and biochemistry, and she's tough and good. Everyone appreciates that, but I also appreciate her more for being a very logical and normal and really hardworking and dedicated chair of the Department of Chemistry and Environmental Science. So I'm a mathematician, so Dr. Jean-Michel kind of stepped into the role of chair of the mathematics department after I stepped out of that role. And it's always difficult in the beginning to have a relationship with someone who's doing the job that you just did. And so you feel sometimes you're always interfering in the job that the person is doing. And so we've had those fights. Uh, but, but I will say this, uh, Ned Rivers is blessed to have as the chair of his mathematics department Dr. Jean-Michel Jean-Michelet. So the next person who I want to introduce to you is, well, I think many of you in this room have come to Medgar Evers College with the thought of nursing on your mind. Not lying, it's okay, you can say yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the point is, you were right to come to Medgar Evers with nursing on your mind, because we have some the really good people in the field of nursing here at the college. And as I noted before, you know, a really good nursing department can't be a really good nursing department if it doesn't have a really good leader. And I know well the leadership qualities of Dr. Hazel Sanderson. She has guided her department through perilous waters, and she's brought it home in some really wonderful places. And so tonight I want to give a very, very special, join me in giving her a very, very special welcome here this evening. <laughs> Finally, I should note uh, the chair of the Physics and Computer Science Department, uh, Dr. Leon Johnson, who is not here this evening. He, he too has an engagement that is of vital importance. But it, it, it's important that I say here tonight that you know you can see all of the chairs on the on the on the, on the dais are very young. Dr. Leon Johnson is the oldest of the chairs in the in the School of Science. And I don't mean that he's old, meaning, you know, but he's also wise. And so, you know, I have, as the Dean, relied tremendously on the guidance of Dr. Johnson and, and his wisdom and his 50, almost 50 years of being a faculty member in university. And so, even though he's not here, I know that I'm streaming this and I told him that if he, I sent him the link, so it'd be nice to give him a really round ball. All right, so we're we're ready now for the for the exciting part of the event. Uh, so the recipients will be announced by Dr. Derek Skeet and Professor Cynthia Sterling Pop. Yes, thank you very much. And I will begin. So, so I will begin, perhaps, perhaps uh, maybe first to, before we, before we get to this place, perhaps I should acknowledge, uh, since I talked about our faculty earlier, I, I, I should ask members of our faculty who are here to simply stand and be recognized by the folks who are here. So faculty members, can you, can you stand and, and be recognized? I see you. Yeah, I know they're all, they're also working outside and yeah. So we, we will we will also I, I have a I have a long list in my pocket, so I'll I'll say this at the end too. But I wanted to acknowledge you here. Uh, so I will I will ask uh, Dr. Kamal from the biology department to come forward and to ask the folks who are from biology. Uh, good evening. 
fulfill all biology and science as students. Please be lined up to the right of the auditorium.
remember you round out, pick up the certificate, and then you come right back to your seat.
The very first group of biology students, we didn't have a group photo with them. So if, if the very first group is still here, uh, it'd be nice to just come right back up so we can have... Uh, where did the other folks go? There's... Well, come on up by yourself.
Amen. Will all the mathematics students please line up to the right of the auditorium? Sharon Cyrus, <laughs> Vanessa Duran, <laughs> Amir Aslam, <laughs> Kathy Gaspar, <laughs> Celeste Thompson Richard. Thank <laughs> you. 
Celine Martinez, Marciana Rock, Marie Florence Gabriel, Cindy Cornell. Ladies and gentlemen, let's 
give a big round of applause once more for physics and computer science. Here. So I, I now have the task for those students who are part of the CUNY baccalaureate program. Or do we have students from the CUNY BA program? Uh, if you're here, please line up on the right side of the auditorium. CUNY BA. Okay, if we have no students who are part of the CUNY BA program, uh, then the next list, it's kind of, we're getting close to the, the real things, uh, slightly more challenging, is the provost list. And so in order to be on the provost list, uh, you needed to satisfy the requirements for the dean's list for four consecutive semesters. So if you were in spring 2018, it meant that you were on the dean's list for fall 2016, Spring 2017, Fall 2017, and Spring 2018. Or if you're Fall 2018, it means that you are in the D's list for Spring of 2017, the Fall of 2017, the Spring of 2018, and the Fall of 2018. So, uh, for those of you who are in the Provost list, and let's see, I'm going to call the names, and so if you're here, just come to the uh, just come to the right-hand side of the auditorium. Uh, Dorina Aldrich, Uma Hafsa, Carrie Ann Anderson, Tamika Gale, Anastasia Mansohin, uh, Stephen Lawrence, Shanika Cattle, Arusha Braithwaite, Frank Simon, Betty Ortiz, Lynn Nana Mba, Tulupe Akimu, Kalina Beckford, Oyemisi Omotoye, Claythea Nichols, Nasheed Manan, Amida Mustafa, Helmer Seguencia, Bernice Noel, Monair Upham, Lillian Ugunebo and Joko, Shalane Gill, Alina Jones, Samuel Joseph, Mariana Diallo, Winston O'Sullivan, Daryl Ambersley, Latoya Jones, Saskia King, and Tisha Octave. Those were folks who were in the Provost list for spring 2018. And then Provost, so maybe we'll give them all pause at once. The second group, students who were in the provost list for fall of 2018, Tamika Gale, Asfana Ali, Morella Murray, Anastasia Mansohin, uh, Stephen Lawrence, Lynn Ba, Andrea Barrett, Clefia Nichols, Ernie Charles, Monair Coppin, Jalane Gill, Alita Jones, Mariama Diallo, Crystal Bailey, Janabu Kwame, Ashley Marokin Rodriguez, Latoya Jones, Saskia King, and Tisha Octane. Congratulations to every one of you. Line Nana Ba, Anastasia Mansami, Shalane Hill. Amina Mustafa, Latoya Jones.
Wesley, Ernie Charles, Marilla Murray, Crystal Billy, Jennifer Kwame. Lanika Lyons, Rose Marissi.
two special awards here. Two special awards. So we have Emiko Reed and Julia. already been made up for me. 
And so sometimes it's always good to give some acknowledgement to the people who put the script together and the people who kind of make me look good. And so I wanted to acknowledge the two people in my office, but in particular I wanted to acknowledge, I don't know where she is. Oh, uh, uh, I wanted to acknowledge uh, Kadia Smith and I wanted to acknowledge Patricia Berlianchi for putting the whole thing together. So, And so with that, uh, she's also arranged for you to have punch and cake, and this should be in the welcome center. And I'm trusting that it is there, so certainly uh, <laughs> I, 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 I want to bring her proceedings to a close and to invite you to the welcome center for uh, well-deserved punch and cakes. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you.